Okay, here we go. Oh man, that was so Oh, we did it! Oh, no! <laughs> Welcome back, everybody, to Ark Survival of Sin. I'm an old guy, Gaming Nand. In this episode, our main goal is to head over to the Lava Cave and get the artifact of the Massive, I believe it is. But before we do that, I thought we would try our hand at seeing if we can get ourselves a queen bee to make our own domesticated beehive. Uh, we are going to eventually want this because it is my intention uh, to make a bunch of uh, sweet veggie cakes to put on our Therizino army when we do boss fights so they can essentially self-heal. Um, I'm not planning on using Dadons in boss fights, at least not at this point, though I do have Dadons. And that just gives us an extra, you know, soldier for the fight. So, um, damn it. The way that this works, from what I understand, is that we, we use the bear to break the hive and then wait for the queen to leave the hive. She'll leave the hive when we break it, but we also have to wait for the bees to de-aggro and then we go uh, after her with uh, either uh, rare flowers or simple kibble. But according to Dota Dex, one simple kibble will train a max, uh, or sorry, tame a max level bee in one shot. So the, that way, the rare flowers, uh, I think it takes two rare flowers if it happens to be a max level bee. Um, so let's go ahead and pop a bug repellent too. Um, let's do a right swap just to get some honey off of these and then we'll just attack the hive and there goes the queen okay so i think we have to wait until we're no longer aggroed and we just kind of follow the queen okay let's go around this way and we sort of kind of have to sneak up on her, too, I think. So let's just kind of follow her and see, you know, she's going to have to come down lower for us to get to her anyway. Usually they, they go down to the, ooh. Okay, usually they go down to the ground. Let's just stay sneaky sneak here and see if we can get this tamed. And now she's at the ground. We got her. Nice. Okay, um, and then we just do this, and that turns her into a hive. Beautiful. Okay, that wasn't too bad. I, I'll be honest with you guys. I've actually tried this a couple times off camera before I, before we, uh, I, I did this on film for you guys, and I couldn't do it. And the reason why I couldn't do it, um, just as an FYI for anybody else that tries this, is I wasn't waiting for the bees to de-aggro. I, I was just blitzing the, the queen and trying to tame her and she wouldn't accept the kibble or the rare flower and I couldn't figure out why and then I watched another video and realized that you have to you have to be de-aggroed and then you have to kind of sneak up on her because if she's like completely aware of you and spitting out the bees then she won't let you tame her. Beautiful. Okay. That went pretty good. Um why don't we, um, since we have the bear and the ghillie and the bug spray, let, why don't we see, let, let's see if we can grab another one. I'm going to look around uh, for another one here. Um, oh, you know, eventually we'll, I'm probably going to want to have, you know, multiple hives. I don't know how many that remains to be seen, but, you know, and I can go around obviously and just gather honey in the wild, but, and that's fine for a little little bit of kibble here and there, but for the quantity of 
uh, veggie cakes in particular that we're going to need to make. Uh, we're definitely going to need our own supply of honey to make that practical. Uh, excuse me, Mr. Bronto. I'm trying to get a beehive here. <gasps> a 150 female Bronto. Mm. These are supposed to be some of the best creatures to use to get the uh, Rhino Natha. Come on, guys. Get away from my ramp so I can tame my bee. I don't know if uh, the bees would actually sting the Bronto. But uh, we, yeah, we gotta, we gotta keep in mind that there's a 150 female Bronto here. Um, what does Dodo Dex say <coughs> it would take to bring down a 150 Bronto on Taming Speed Three, which is actually what I have my server set to? It would take. 45 shocking tranquilizer darts out of a normal long neck or 64 crossbow bolts out of my 200% crossbow or almost 200% crossbow. No chance of death in either case, which of course doesn't surprise me. All right, we're not doing that today, but um, I'm going to keep this in mind. We are, where are we? So we're kind of on the western end of the redwoods right at the moment. Okay. Um, I guess I should probably take my ramp down and let these guys kind of wander off. Oh, I just realized there's two hives on this tree. Okay, let's let's go ahead and try it again. I think this Bronto's stuck. Okay, so we'll put this pillar right about there. Sometimes that's a real uh, particular spot it wants to go in to get it to... Oh, for frick's sake. I want to kind of try and do this fairly quickly before that Bronto comes back over here like it's doing right now. Okay, that's good. All right, I hope these bees don't um, aggro the Brontos. <laughs> okay, let's pop a bug repellent. Get the honey. And then do the thing. Okay, there goes the queen. Okay, just fly over here. Got her. Nice. Okay. Now, since we have another hive on this same tree, let's see if we can get a third one. All right, so we still have uh, a long time on our current application of bug repellent, so we should be good. Okay, do a honey swipe, and then let's do it. Uh, did we even get a queen out of that? I don't think we did. They're, there's no, you know, they're not always in every single hive. Hey, did you see where the queen bee went? No? Okay. Hey, get out of here. Oh, no, 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 no. We got it. We got her. Got her. Whew. Okay. Yeah, that one was... Uh, we had to work a little harder for that one. But we managed to do it. 
All right, so we got a total of three beehives. That's awesome. Uh, so I'm going to go back to base, get these things set up. We just basically set them down and put uh, wildflowers in them. And then I'm going to jump on a berry. And I'll meet you guys over here. Uh, what? Yeah, I'll meet you guys right over here. And we'll go into the lava cave and see if we can get ourselves on the artifact of the massive. Our hands on it, rather. I think I will take the otter with me, too, just because... If we're successful, we can grab, you know, two or three of them. If we're not, well, we'll just have to retame another otter as well as, uh, you know, lose everything of our own, too. Because when you die in that cave, you lose everything. Assuming you, you know, die from the lava, that is. All right, guys, we are finally at the lava cave. Um, it's actually been a couple hours since I left you in the last part or the first part of this episode. Um, cause I had to wait for some imprinting and some stuff like that. So anyway, uh, what I did was I brought uh, soldier two, which is my strongest baryonyx. He's got over 800 melee damage down here, but I got ganked along the way by a capro and was killed. So I had to respawn back to base, grab the bird, grab, you know, come back at the baryonyx and finally made it to the cave. But then I had to get back to the sea cave to do a couple imprints on the baby sharks. And so... It's just been not one thing after another. Uh, but anyway, we finally made it here. And um, as part of that process, I forgot uh, to bring uh, the otter. But that's okay. Let, let's just run the cave the first time without the otter anyways in case, you know, things go bad and then we don't lose it. And then once I kind of get a feel for it, because it's, it's been a long time since I've done this cave, um, you know, then we can... Uh, bring it next time after, you know, after I have a little bit better idea of, of what's going to happen. Uh, okay, so this is just like a little hut that I set up here. I put all my stuff in here. Um, I have, I definitely am not bringing my highest end gear for this because, again, like I said, if you die in this cave in the lava, it's gone. There is no getting it back. So uh, if we do take a swim in the lava and lose all of this stuff, it's not, it's not going to hurt too terribly bad. Uh, I got all the soups. The Kaylee and soup's going to be the most important. I'm bringing organic polymer with me um, so that I can repair my ghillie as we go. And let's see, we've got a lesser antidote because there's going to be bats in there. We've got quite a bit of medical brew and grappling hook. And I think we're uh, as ready as we can be. Uh, you could probably stand to heal up a little bit. Um... Yeah, just because of that fight we got in. So maybe what I should do is take him out into the ocean. We're not, we're pretty close to the shore right where we are. And have him, uh, or, or just get him healed up. Uh, the berries heal up pretty quickly if you just go chow out on some fish. So I'll bring you back as soon as we got him fully healed and maybe some extra fish to take in there and we'll go from there. All right, let's do this. I don't think we'll have any trouble getting the berry in here as far as him being able to move uh, through here. Yeah, we're supposed to be able to get him through without any issues. So, yeah, uh, very first time being in this cave in ASA. I have done it a few times, of course, in ASE, but I don't know. I, I didn't do this cave enough to you know be really familiar with it like I am with some of the other ones we've done so far so we'll just uh, head on in and see how things go um, so far we're doing fine on temperature I've got pretty high stamina so we have a right and a left and it looks like we probably don't want to go left so yep I think we'll go right <laughs> uh, it's really kind of glitchy in here too like little micro freezes and frame rate and shit going on so okay so we've got our first batch enemies that is a lot of enemies my goodness so why don't we see if we can make sure you're passive let's see if we can pull like just the bats first, or maybe just the scorpions. 
I think you can pull the bugs separate from the bats, maybe. Uh, well, maybe not. I don't know. Uh, yeah, well, we can pull one scorpion separate from the bats, anyway. Looks like we have... Yeah, we have another scorpion on its way. Come on up and get killed, man. And two more scorps. They were probably trying to come up here, but were caught in and amongst the other bugaboos, I would guess. The hell are you going? I'm trying not to get down there and aggro everything. It was a 125. No wonder it took a while. Okay, stay there. Now let's aggro spiders. Uh, did we not hit the spiders? I don't know. Oh, you know what? I hit something. <laughs> I think I might have been hitting rocks the first time. There they come. Some of them are trying to path up that other spot there, which is... Not going real well for them. Let's put these soups on the berries inventory because they'll be able to uh, keep them fresh a little bit longer than I can. Hey, you missed. Okay. So they got the majority of the bugs and shit out of the way. I think we can probably go ahead and jump on in. Well, you know what, though? I mean, if we can... Oh... Just the bats... Might as well. Here they come. Jeez, that's a lot of bats. Alright. Yeah, we killed them all without getting swamp fever. I mean, um... What the hell is it? Oh, well, never mind. One left. And <laughs> I spoke too soon. Not swamp fever, uh, mega rabies, that's what it is. Okay, now we're immune for three minutes. Let's kill this scorp. Alright, now we have two different paths to go. Um. Oh, well, we're going to go this way first because there is a loot crate over there. Along with more enemies. Oh, there's dillos in here? Interesting. Let's kill this guy. Um, before we go do that loot crate, let's kill these other monsters. God, look at all the bats. Jeez. There's a lot of mobs in here, man. Okay, let's try it um, once again. I, I just want to be a little more careful in here because this cave is... Oh, I, I guess 
I mean, I don't know what other people consider it. I kind of consider it a, a mid-level difficulty cave. You know, the artifact of the Hunter Cave, the Lower South Cave, the Central Cave, and even really the Northeast Cave that we did in the last episode, those are all the e easier caves in the game. They're not necessarily completely easy to do, but they are not as hard as these caves, so I just want to be, uh, you know, take it, take it cautiously the first time around. I'm just trying to see if I can hit one of these bats here. Or here, we'll hit the cave dillo. <laughs> cave dilos. Come at me, brah. That's funny that there's dilos in here. Oh, wow. Okay, let's get right about here. Looks like we got the attention of a scorp. And all the bats or some of the bats? Looks like probably all of them. Okay, here we go. All right, that went reasonably well. that everybody I think so okay so let's go after the loot crate next there's uh some mobs down there too okay you were on passive so you just stay put there um we're gonna just do this one on foot. Oh, nice. Look at that pick. My goodness. Pretty nice stego sal uh, uh, salad. <laughs> Saddle, too. Okay, well, we've got the pick now, so we're going to we're gonna keep it with us. So I guess the next question is... Do we go that direction or this direction? I think I want to go left. Because I think there's multiple ways to get down to the artifact. And I, if I remember right, this direction leads to another loot crate, I think. Okay, let's pull that bat over here. Okay, there's some mobs down that way, too. I don't know if there's a good reason to go down that way. I suppose we should be looking up, too, just in case there's Megalanias. Hmm. It looks like that route just kind of goes to the same yeah just goes to the same place I guess just a high road and a low road I'm just wondering why this path is here though there's a, a reason for it or not. I don't know. I don't see anything down here. Maybe the, maybe a loot drop does spawn down here. Okay, let's go this way. Yowzers. Okay, I want to be super careful going through here. Especially since our frame rate kind of sucks. Uh, 
that caught in the rocks. Oh, there is a, another loot crate over there. Nice. Okay. I'm not really uh, doing much there. Okay, so we got some baddies that direction. And then we have two jumps here. Hmm. All right, let's go let's go deal with these guys first. more off to the right unless I'm just hearing echoes or something I don't know oh there's a lot over that way okay hey cut that out hmm it don't it almost seems like there's some caught in the wall or something like right behind me All right, let's go back this way for a second. Um, see, the thing that's tricky about this jump is if you overshoot it, because it's two separate jumps, um, you're toast. If I do a jump on this guy, can I pull him back a little bit if I needed to? No, when when he jumps, he goes. But Philo, if you if you do a forward jump and then you push the down button, it'll it, he kind of pulls back a little bit. All right, we better do this one on foot. I just want to make sure that um, once we get over there, you know, uh, to the loot crate. Island, we're not gonna have a mob. Are those guys on the loot crate island? Okay, if they are, we can pull them off into the lava. Yep, yeah, come on over into the lava. There you go. Yeah, fall down in there and roast. Oh. I figured he'd he'd fall all the way down in there. Sounds like something else is in the lava. Didn't he? Okay, he he fell in. Got to get him a little further over. There we go. Okay. All right. Now the next question is: Is our Barry okay? Yeah, he's fine. The next question is: Can I jump over there without aggroing the bats? I probably can. Oh yeah, we're gonna we're gonna definitely use our grappling hook to get back over across that way. Okay. Tell you what. Let's get this ready to go. So if we, if we have to make a quick escape. See, I'm afraid that bat over there... Oh. Thought I had wings flapping in my face. Okay, let's go. Grab this. That was hardly worth the effort.
Um, what did we get? A <laughs> freaking ascendant stone pick. <coughs> no. And a magnifying glass, which we don't need either because we've got the stu super spyglass. We, we got a grenade, which those can come in handy in the ice cave. But yeah, but that was, that was pretty shitty loot. Okay, well, then I think we're going to go this way. Yeah, there's definitely critters caught in the wall or something over there. That's not my problem, though. Okay, our berry's in good health. Let's do this. Barry got a level. I wonder if we can get him all the way to uh, a thousand. I don't know. I don't I haven't been keeping track of how many levels he's got left. Let's get rid of some of this crap here. Yeah, we're we're doing fine at least so far in here, temperature-wise. I don't even have the small flame. I wonder with my fortitude and maybe Kaylee and Soup if we could come in here and you know a little stronger armor. Could maybe try that next time. Okay, so we come to another fork. I wonder if this route would have been how we would have come down had we gone to the right. There's a lot of enemies in there. So, yeah, here again, I'm not sure which way to go. So let's, let's stay to the left for now. Just see where that leads us. More critters caught in the walls. Yep, that's exactly what it is. All right, well, like I said, not my problem. So this... Oh, he got out. So this leads... down here. Which is just across from where that loot crate was. But it looks like a dead ends here. Okay. So I would imagine if we if we jumped across, there might be a, another pathway over there. But I don't want to do that if I don't have to, because I just don't trust my jumping ability with the berry. If we had a thylo, it'd be a lot easier to control but we don't we have a berry so okay let's go this way so the good news about that is we could probably pull all those bugs into the lava I'm thinking Yeah, they're... Oh, look at that. They're already coming into lava. Nice. That works for me. Okay, that was cool. That we were able to do that. Okay, let's see if we can do that again. Yep, everybody just pile off into the lava here. That one frickin' bat gives us mega rabies. 
Okay, we still have a scorpion. Come on, boys. Into the lava with you. There you go. And those guys are coming in the lava. This is great. <laughs> we'll just let the lava do the work for us. Okay. I still see a Dilo over that way, but I'm not really too worried about him. Okay, let's head over this way and see what happens. Oh, we got another dead end. Okay, well maybe the purpose of coming over here was to do exactly what we just did. Pull those little bastards into the lava. It works for me. Okay, let's go this way. Hey, you were supposed to go in the lava too, man. What the hell? This just goes back up through here. Uh, did we? Did we come down this way? I don't know. I don't know if we did or not. This is a pretty confusing cave if you're not used to it. I will say that much. Maybe not quite as bad as the uh, swamp cave, but hmm. This might be a bit of a tricky jump getting the berry out of here. We can probably do it. But before we totally commit, there's definitely no way we'd get, we would get him out on that end. Yeah, damn, that's... Uh, oh, you know what? The other thing, too, is you got to watch out for the stalagmites. Or stalactites, rather. Oh, boy. All right. Well, I think what we do is we... We make the jump down there and then see how it goes coming out. Yeah, that, that jump's going to be fun coming out. Okay, well, we'll worry about that bridge when we have to cross it. Okay, so we have another right and left path. Oh, but we have a drop, so we're definitely going this way. And an explorer note, too. Okay, let's get the drop first. Yay, another Ascendant Arthopleura saddle. Uh, decent cat kite and leggings and a very nice fur cap. Okay, yeah, we, we might need that in the Artifact of the Skylord cave. Uh... There's the artifact itself over there, too. Nice. Um, all right, let's grab this. Megalocerus latus coronum is a very skittish herbivore, found mostly in the forests and mountains of the island. Because of its large size, its fraught demeanor would be strange in any other place. But Megalocerus knows how fierce the predators of the island are and that it is safer to flee from them than to risk its life in a fight. The Atlas of Megaloceros are very large and make for an excellent source of keratin. This, of course, makes it a valuable resource. Unfortunately, hunting Megaloceros is not easy because of their quick speed and ability to bound over most obstacles. Megaloceros is a jack of all trades creature and many who ride it value its versatility. It is decently powerful, and its resilience, speed, and ability to jump often come in handy. Finally, the male Megaloceros charging horn attack tends to cause targets to bleed, decreasing their health, stamina, and speed until healed. 
Yeah, I don't I don't usually go for those, but I have had them in the past, and they're actually not bad mounts. Um, you get one and level up pretty good, and it, it'll kick ass and take names, and it's a really good mount for gathering thatch, too. I don't know if she said that or not. Oh, shit. You just cried, came out of the floor, man. What the hell? Is that allowed? Look at that. 1,040 damage headshot. No more spitting allowed. Oh, well, okay, maybe there is some more spitting allowed. Okay, so that leads to the artifact. What's what's up this way? Besides more bats. Is that? Oh shit! Is this like a the other way down here? Because if it is, maybe we have a. A safer jump to get back out of here. So I'm concerned about that one, that last one we had to do. Getting our 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 critter out of it. Okay, well I'll tell you what. Let's uh. Yeah, I'll bet you this is just an an alternate route. Uh, let's get the artifact first, and then we'll make a decision okay I'm not taking the animal over there uh, uh, let's pull the critters to us and, and or in the lava and we'll go over there on foot to get the artifact I guess we didn't get the Oh, he got across. Interesting. Okay. Mega rabies. Okay. Let's um leave the berry right here. You're on passive. And we should be able to make it back across there uh, with the grappling hook. Just making sure there aren't any other monsters down here. Okay. Yeah, I know I can make the jump, but I'm we're doing we're playing this easy way, man, or the safe way, or the smart way, depending upon how you want to say it. Okay. While I'm thinking about it, let's get our screenshot here. I'll wait. Are we safe? Yeah. We'll wait for it to turn back around, and then I'll turn the HUD off. All right, artifact of the massive. Beautiful. Okay. Um. Yeah, the next time we come down here, we'll bring the otter. I don't. I don't know what's over there. If anything, may. Maybe there's a loot drop that spawns over there. That's that's a pretty big jump there, isn't it? Okay. Let's see. Can we get all the way? Oh, you know what, though? I can't tell from here if that's right over the thing, so... Yeah, let's not, let's not chance it. 
that stalact stalactite we stuck into could have been <laughs> right over that. Yeah, artifacts back, but we can't do anything about it. Okay, so yeah, I think the, the plan now is to go this direction, and hopefully we can find a little bit safer route out of here than that jump that I'm not 100% confident I can make and keep our dino from biting the dust. There's more creatures that way. But let's go this direction. Mm. Ah, man, I don't... I don't think the berry can make that jump. He might be able to if we get a run at it. The good news is, is if we don't make it, we're not going to fall right into the drink. Uh, if you actually call lava drink. Um, all right, let's get a run at it and see if we can make this. Uh, also, let's make sure you are. We don't need normal meat. Let's make sure you are as light as you can be. I'm going to chuck the chitin because I got plenty of it. Just don't need it. Especially with those snails, man. We got so much, so many paces, ridiculous. Let's just get rid of all this shit. Uh, these two. Okay. Here we go. Mm. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. How about if we... Let's just try it again, because at least we're not going to die if we don't make it in this spot. It might just need to time it a little bit more. Okay, here we go. Can you get up? Oh, no, don't go that way. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. All right. I don't know, man. Ah. Okay. Let's try it one more time. If we could, uh, I wonder if we could run up on those stalagmites and then do our jump, so give ourselves a little boost. You know what I mean? Well, except for I didn't hit the jump button quite right there. Okay. Well, that might work. I just got to time it better. Okay, here we go. Oh, man. That was so Oh, we did it! Oh, no! <laughs> oh my god. I did not know that chasm was there. <laughs> Lordy! Oh my goodness. Oh. That was so close, you guys. Oh man. Yeah, that would have been the end of us. Definitely would have been the end of us. Oh my goodness. Okay. So, note to self, if you do come back this way and make that jump, you got to immediately put the brakes on. <laughs> oh, wow. That scared the hell out of me, you guys. Okay, let's go this way. Yeah, easy. Um, there is another explorer note down there. Very bright. 
I was trying to see if there's also a a loot crate. Uh oh. This jump might be a little tricky. Because we're jumping up. I hmm. Here we go. Whew, okay. I was <laughs> I was uh, uh, a little bit off to the to the right but we did it okay i don't see a loot crate down down there actually though hold on let's get back over here Yeah, I'm not even sure how how you get down there, but uh, maybe on a another trip in here we'll we'll go check that out. My blood pressure is still a little bit spiked from that <laughs> near miss. <laughs> oh, jeez. Uh, we can get through here, right? Yeah. There's a couple jumps over there, but I, I don't know unless there's the path continues on that way. Oh, it looks like maybe it does. All right. This is where we we started from. We just went to the left instead of the right. And ladies and gentlemen, we have completed the lava cave and obtained artifact of the massive. And freaking fantastic. Okay, um, I'm not really set up to to leave the berry here. I mean, I guess I could. I guess I could make a trough or something and enlarge the thing, but I I think I'm just gonna ride it back. Because um well, yeah, actually, I am going to ride it back because I can't, I can't fast travel, and I'm certainly not going to carry this in particular back to the base on foot. <laughs> I do not want to lose that. Uh, that's a really nice pick, like 315 damage. Nice. So yeah. Um, with that being said, I think uh, we're going to wrap up this episode here, and probably Swamp Cave will be our next cave. See, we got Swamp Cave to do. We've got artifact to the sky lord and we have the ice cave and once we do those three then we've done all of the land caves and then of course uh, we, i'm working on getting our megalodon army up so that we can run the two sea caves as well so yeah let's tentatively plan on swamp cave for the next episode and we will go from there. So thanks, everybody, for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share the video. And we'll catch you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.